Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something fresh and exciting in the world of Nintendo Switch emulation, a brand new emulator called Eden. Recently, there were some leaks hinting at a mysterious new project in development. And now, its official Eden is real, and it's already making waves in the emulation community. Eden Emulator is a promising new Nintendo Switch emulator created by Camille, a former developer from the Citron project. With Camille's experience and vision, Eden is set to deliver a unique take on Switch Emulation 1 that pushes the boundaries both technically and ethically. From heated debates about anti-piracy and DRM-free loading, to ambitious features like online multiplayer, custom GPU driver support, and eliminating the need for key decryption, Eden isn't playing by the old rules. It's aiming to redefine what's possible. Let's jump into everything we know so far about Eden, because this isn't just another emulator. It could be the next big leap in the Nintendo Switch emulation scene. Let's break it all down. As of April 2025, Eden's emulator repository remains private, and no official GitHub source has been released most likely to avoid legal issues from Nintendo. I received the file from my audience, so I'm unable to share it publicly. But don't worry, the developers are already working on setting up a GitHub repository, and it should be available soon. Since Eden is built using Yuzu source code, the UI and structure look very similar to Yuzu, Sudachi, and Citron. Just like with Citron, you'll need to go through the usual setup, enable notifications, install the product keys, and set up your game directories. The emulator supports both XCI and NSP formats right out of the box. Disclaimer: The emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Now the interface might feel familiar, but that's not our main concern. The real question is Eden actually better than Citroen or Sudachi, or is it just another clone with a flashy name? That's what we're here to find out. The very first thing we can notice in the game Liberty, they add something new. Now we can set the game in grid or list mode, also games can be synchronized in alphabetically or recent played. Let's configure a few settings. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner. Then select Advanced Settings and open the System tab. I recommend turning off the limit speed option so the emulator can utilize your device's full potential. If you enable Docked Mode, it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance, so keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the Graphics section, keep the CPU accuracy set to Normal. You can set the resolution to 4x for high-end devices, but I suggest using 1x, which is 720p, for a balanced experience. If you're using a low-end device, go with 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Higher resolutions require more power, so adjust this based on your device's capabilities. Set anisotropic filtering to 2x. In aspect ratio, choose stretch to window for maximum display coverage. Enable force maximum clocks only if you're using an Adreno GPU, but be cautious, as this might cause overheating. Now go to the debug settings. Here, only Vulkan API is available, so we don't have other choices. Feel free to experiment with these settings to find what works best for your device. And if anything gets messed up, you can always reset to default. Next, head back to the main settings menu, where you'll find an option to install custom GPU drivers. By default, the emulator selects your device's GPU driver, but you can install a custom one for better performance. For this video, I'm using the Qualcomm Adreno 805 driver. Here's something new I noticed they've added a few new themes, and they look pretty good. Now let's jump into some gameplay using the Eden emulator. I tested a few games to compare performance with other emulator. This game is graphically intense, but Eden managed to deliver 30 to 40 FPS with solid visuals. Eden outperformed its control system, and overall performance felt more polished. However, Less demanding games ran well on Eden, showing promising results. Since Eden Emulators is still in development, we can expect much better performance in the future. Please share your opinion in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. It's an investment in more awesome content coming your way.